swear I can hit 28 miles per hour. And here, yep, 28 miles per hour. Yeah, baby! <laughs> so this is the Magicycle Cruiser All-Terrain Fat Tire E-Bike. It is an 18-inch frame size, 26 inches Canada tires, 52 volt battery with a range of up to 55 miles per charge and speeds up to 28 miles per hour. I'm so ready for spring and summer here in sunny San Diego and excited to go outside and ride my e-bikes again. So let's get right into this video guys, let's do this! Okay, so first of all, the delivery time was fast. It took around four to five days for the bike to arrive since they have them in stock here in the States. So for me, that's a big plus. The bike arrived in excellent condition with no dents or damage of any kind. The assembly process is very easy, even for people with no experience. They include all the tools necessary. They even include a hat, which I really like. There's also a case for your phone and accessories a chain for safety, a small headlight, the tool bag, white gloves, and the fast charger. Man, this bike looks great. I got the Midnight Blue Step Through, which apparently is a limited edition and it sells for $1,800, or if you prefer the white instead, it's on sale right now for $1,589, but if you'd like to save $100, just apply my code JOLSTER1 when you buy one e-bike, and if you would like to save $250, apply Jolster 2 when you buy two e-bikes. So with the settings that I have, I want to test the maximum speed with throttle only. All right, so let's go. Throttle only. Here we go. Another. Oh, that was another fly. 25. 26. It hit 26, yeah. 26 miles per hour. I think that's the maximum. It'll go with throttle only. Another thing that I notice is that right here you start with passenger assistant one. And even if you press down, it doesn't go, it just stays on one. So I guess you're gonna change the settings to zero to five. To maybe just don't have any passenger assistance uh, but i do like it on one it's always set on one you have that option but you also have the walking option if you just press and hold the minus button and then boom it just starts walking so just in case if you don't want to you know carry the whole bike by yourself when you're walking you have that assistance as well all right so now i want to test the top speed on each passenger assistant so this is passenger assistant level one I'm gonna go for it just uh, and there you go and then it'll start helping you as soon as you st it starts feeling that push with the pedals and let's go I have it a uh, gear 3 it's going 8 miles per hour it's not bad 8 miles per hour it's a good exercise let's uh, switch to number 2 oh I can feel that kick I feel like it's going kind of, I'm pedaling too much, so I'm gonna change gear to uh, four. And I'm going to 13, 13.5 miles per hour. It's not bad. Passing your system three. There you go, oh my god. Switch to level five, so that's a big jump. 13 miles per hour, gear six. That's a big jump to almost 20 miles per hour. That's a passenger assistant level three. Wow, that's a big, big jump. Is number four? Yeah, oh, wow. Uh, gear seven, 22.5 miles per hour. Wow, it feels, feels faster than that. Passenger assistant five. Now passenger system 5, I don't feel much of, a, much of a difference, but let's push it! You have to like, push it hard! Oh, 25 miles per hour, you know what? I don't feel this is accurate. For some reason, I don't feel this is accurate. Because uh, yesterday I was riding 
and I was pushing the bike and I, it went up to 28 miles per hour so one thing that can change a lot dramatically the speed that you're gaining in the miles that you're getting on your e-bike is going to be the tire pressure so always I forgot to check this before I left today always check it uh, the maximum tire pressure here is 30 psi and yesterday when I tested it it was uh, 25 and now look at this it dropped to 20 so this is brand new it's you gotta constantly check it but let's check it out this uh, pump it up to 25 I'm going to use pedal assist 5 okay I did some modifications on the screen let's go I'm gonna use a little bit of help and let's go with the throttle pedal only oh man <laughs> oh, I gotta get a higher gear. Higher gear, gear seven. Oh yeah, twenty six, twenty seven. Yeah, I'm pretty sure I can hit twenty eight miles per hour. And here, yep, twenty eight miles per hour. Yeah, baby. <laughs> oh, I love this. Turbo boost. Ah, let's go for it! Oh man! Jesus! I feel that burn in my legs. That is a beautiful burn in my legs. Oh god. Okay. So I'm going uphill. This is where uh, you need that extra power in which this bike comes in so handy. It feels like you're not even struggling. If you do want to struggle, you want to lower the best. Oh, 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 oh. No, forget that. <laughs> that's, a, that's a big, huge difference. Oh my god, it feels so different. Oh, so yeah, passenger level three. That is the way to go. I think there's a car behind me. Oh, yeah. Okay. So now we're gonna go downhill and I am going to test the brakes. It's gonna be pretty fast. <laughs> yep, I'm using both brakes. It's pretty pretty good. Very responsive, very strong. They're not hydraulic brakes. They're still very, very strong. All right, guys. So finally, I just wanted to show you some of the accessories that I have added so far. Is this little carrying bag? I think it's perfect size for the rack they include in there. I mean, you don't necessarily need this. Uh, you could also use this little strip so you can hold on to different items if you want. But I think this bag is, is pretty cool. I have some of my cameras in here. It's waterproof. I like this one. Um, the included bag here, the carrying case for your phone. It's nice, but I like to have my phone where I can, you know, see the messages real quick and also open it if, you, if I want to. So I added this. Now in order for me to add this phone holder, uh, I needed to add this uh, extender or just for accessories which is of a carbon fiber I bought this on Amazon it's uh, it's really nice I use this for my scooters as well I'm gonna leave a link in the description if you guys uh, if you guys are interested in buying something like this because with this curve on the uh, handlebars it's kind of difficult to add accessories for this with this one for example I just added so I can add a different camera right here I'm gonna show you or do it later but uh yeah, and also this phone holder, it's really nice, it's made of uh, aluminum and you can also put your GoPro camera right here on top so that way it doesn't take any more space. So that is basically what I added so far to the bike and my guy, what I can tell you is I'm really enjoying it. It's, uh, it's kind of heavy, I can tell, but what I like is that it has this handle right here so you can lift it up. Oh. Yeah, just lift it up 
from here and it makes it easier to handle the bike whenever you are going upstairs or moving it to a vehicle inside your car okay so far i'm really enjoying this bike i love the way it looks it has power a long lasting battery which i'm going to be testing the range so stay tuned for that my only complaint is that it's kind of tall for me i'm five foot nine and i'm on my tippy toes when i'm riding even with the seat all the way down so this bike is designed for tall people now regardless of that i'm still enjoying it i get to go out with my wife and daughter get some exercise get some clean air i highly recommend it now if you're interested in buying one remember to use my code jolster1 and save 100 dollars or jolster2 and save 250 dollars when you buy two bikes so that's it for this video i'm jolster and i'll see you guys on the next one jolster out